Hello, welcome to Brave Thoughts, episode eight. In this one, I have been planning to talk about the um, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, the new Netflix Pinocchio movie. And, uh, okay, because I, I watched it, and I talked about it even before it came out in another Brave Thoughts video, and I have been really excited for it to come out. I remember seeing the trailer, and it just looked amazing. The trailer was absolutely amazing. And I've just been really excited for it. Um, and then it came out, and then it came out, and um, I watched it. And right off the bat, it turned out to be a little disappointing. Um, I will say that it, I I believe it was the probably the best. Um, interpretation of Pinocchio I've seen but even then it just kind of fell short and at this point a lot of people are just thinking like do we really care about Pinocchio at this point like do it it's like Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio I think was was great I think it was good all in all a little disappointing things but it was good but despite the disappointment it's it's like it's like nobody's really asking for another one to come out nobody's asking for it so i don't think we need another like fourth pinocchio to come out um but i i i think you yeah, the tours was at least good enough that was definitely a good um interpretation of it and i i did really like a lot of things about it so i will dive straight into the movie itself um Obviously the stop motion was amazing and it was just it was just beautiful to watch almost the entire time It was a very visually good movie as I like expected it to be I would I could already say that when I watched the trailer. It was just amazing. It just looked so good stop motion is just a really good medium, you know um, and um, Then like all the different story elements um, It was very creative in a lot of parts um, for example, like Geppetto having a son that died, which when I first heard about that, I thought that was like a completely new thing. I thought it, um, I thought like, yeah, I thought that was just something completely new that Guillermo del Toro came up with. But I, th I think from what I've heard, that was already a thing, but they just didn't touch on it as much in other ones. So I guess that's really cool that they touched it in this one. It was very sad right off the bat, you know? But it was just it was just very interesting. By the way, spoiler warning, I'm not I'm I'm probably gonna be going into the deep stuff. I would recommend watching the movie first. Despite me saying how disappointing it is, I think it is worth the watch, and I think you should really watch it. But um it So yeah, a lot of the story things were great. I just love how I just loved a lot of the stuff they changed. I don't remember there being a monkey in any other ones, but the the monkey was a great addition and then the um, fox-ish guy. I forget, like, the original story, but the, the what's-his-name that, like, kept Pinocchio in that circus. That was very interesting. I, I loved how, like, instead of that, um, I forget what the place was called, but basically the, it was called, like, Dreamland or something where all, like, the kids could do whatever they want, you know? That was kind of almost replaced with, like, like, this straight-up like Nazi training ground thing. Like it was, it, it's a little complicated, but it's based in that time in Italy and during um, World War II. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't remember my history much, but the, uh, gosh, it was, it was just very interesting to see it in that time. I don't know much about that time, but it was very interesting. And um, to see that tied into it a bit and um, I'm kind of all over the place with this. I don't really know where to start. This feels like something that I could make some kind of like long video essay about, but I just don't think it's so worth it. That's that's how disappointing it was. Like it was good all in all, but it wasn't good enough for me to really go deep into it. But I kind of promised I'd talk about it and I want to talk about it. But um, I remember going, going to Hot Topic to check if they had any um, new pop figures for me to get like I normally do and they had some new Pinocchio pop figures and I was thinking maybe I should get one and I was like mm, maybe I'll just wait till I see it just so I can actually have an opinion on it before I buy that then I watched it and now I don't know if I care to buy one of those
But um, anyway, I haven't really gotten into why it's a little disappointing, but I'm trying to get the positive stuff out of the way. So it was all the, yes, yeah, just all the, I just saw the new creative story elements. It was, it was, I think, okay, so here's the thing. I think it was all great, but what made it disappointing wasn't some things it did, it was what it didn't do. I, I kind I just kind of expected more from it. I guess my expectations were a little too high, but there were some things that it didn't really touch on that just, that I expected a lot more from. Like, I guess the, so the immortality thing was interesting. I guess I expected to go deeper into that. It went into it pretty well. But then it was like, the, the ending, the ending was supposed to be like, kind of up to interpretation of like, oh, you don't, like, like, like the cricket even says, like, who knows what happened to Pinocchio for the rest of his life. He just did stuff, but like, but I still kind of want to know. It just felt a little, a little cheap at the end. Like they just kind of ended. When I, I really, I would have loved to see it further. I think that would have been a great way to tie it up. Um, and I don't know. I just don't think I can. It's it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what it, where it fell short. Cause it just it, it just didn't feel so right after watching it. It just it just felt a little disappointing, but I couldn't really figure out what I was disappointed about. But anyway, I guess I'm focusing a little too much on the disappointment now. It was a good movie, I will say. And it was probably the best interpretation of Pinocchio. And with all the good things, they did a great job. Um, and it was enjoyable to watch. It's worth the watch. Might not watch it again but it was good. <laughs> um, like I said, I'm not, I, I'm not super interested in continuing to, into like getting really deep in it. I don't want to make something big about it. Just a short video, but yeah, those are, those are my thoughts on the Pinocchio movie. Good movie, worth the watch, a little disappointing, but go watch it. It's good. I right, hope you have a good day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Uh, my my cha channel banner has the link to my Twitter. If you if you want to find me on any social media, I think Twitter is the best one. I would love to talk to you on there. I think that's where I put most of my um, sincere thoughts. And uh, yeah, check me out there. Uh, have a good day. Bye.